Hello, this is Perry, and welcome back to another episode of Tesla DIY. Today, I want to show you how you go from this to this with wheel spacer from Block Sports. So as you can see, I just received my wheel spacer all the way from Hong Kong. Uh, it only took about five days or so, I think. Initially, I think the estimate uh, delivery day is uh, not until the end of the month, which is another two weeks away. So I'm pretty happy with how quickly these arrived. So I bought four of these, of course, one for each wheels. And unlike most people, for the back, I ordered 25 millimeter and for the front I ordered uh, a pair of 20 millimeter most people go with 15 in the front and 20 in the back I want to push it a little bit and get a more aggressive setup so hopefully these work uh, without any rubbing or I might regret it so a little concerning I only see three boxes not sure what's happening with the the fourth one so let's just see so i got one and one so i guess these are the 20 millimeters and hopefully i have two in here uh looks like i have two so we're good So I was actually wrong. The, the single box actually contained the 20 millimeter because they're thinner. They go like that, so they fit in one box. And then these are the 25 millimeter. As you can see, it's, uh, it's thicker. And man, it looks real good. Like the quality looks really good. So I'm really excited, but I'm also very nervous. I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't rub or it doesn't poke out too much. So let's get the car up in the air. I have to drive it onto the ramp and then get the jack underneath, get it up in the air, get the wheels off, pop these in, and let's see how they fit. All right, so jack pads here, car is somewhat up in the air. I'm gonna loosen up the wheels first. So I've loosened up the wheel nuts. Gonna stick this underneath. And get the jack underneath and put it up in the air. Barely fits. Actually, I should loosen up the front too. All right, now let's get this up in the air. All right, let's switch it up and remove one wheel at a time. Gonna take the back first. So the wheels are off. As you can see, there is this um, 10 millimeter bolt bolted onto the brick disc and just gonna loosen this up. We're not gonna need this. I think this is when you change your brake disc and you use this to kind of help push it out of the, the hub. I'm not sure. If you know, leave, leave a comment below. So the back, we're gonna put the 25 millimeter and see how it fits. So this one has the same uh, wheel hub, hub ring 
or centric center centric whatever center hub which uh, I don't know I forgot the spec I'm gonna leave the spec below um, it's like 56 point whatever so and then we got these little covers to take them off All right so I do also know that these are different size so for the wheel for the wheel lug nuts are 21 millimeter and for for these are 19 millimeters so they're they go into here and same thing for the rest so you do want to uh, tighten each a little bit at a time and once this is tightened you want to do the opposite corner and after that opposite corner opposite corner and so on same thing for these when you put back your wheels so time lapse As you can see, I have it at 129. I don't have one of those fancy digital ones, but this will do just fine. So, again, a little bit at a time, each uh, opposite corner. I don't know how well the mic is gonna pick it up, but. As I tighten, you'll hear a click. There you go, that's one. 120, uh, 129 foot pound. Second one. Third, two more to go. The last one. Ooh, okay. So there you go. All tighten up. Uh, let's put the wheels back on. So again, just gonna hand tight all these for now. I can see it. I can kind of see how flush this is. Getting real close to seeing the actual finished product. So this is basically how you would do it. You're gonna do this for all four corners and it's getting dark so I might have to just show you the finished product tomorrow. And for now, I'll just wrap it up and enjoy it myself. So I totally forgot about the front um, because it's off the ground and it doesn't have a emergency brake so the wheel is going to spin. So what I'm going to do is have my wife come and help step on the brake while I uh, torque this down to 129 foot pounds. 